Welcome! In this video I will show you how you can use the script task in SSIS. When you want to use some function which are not uh, available in built-in tasks and transformation in SSIS then you can use a script task. I'll show you one example how you can use script task as a counter with uh, combined with uh, uh, row counter and uh, variable. Okay, first of all, we'll use data flow task and put on our form and click on it. And we'll choose our source. We'll choose SQL Server and uh, we'll create our connection manager and choose server name now. Okay, and now I'll choose uh, Adventure Work 2012 database. Okay. I will use SQL command. I will uh, use a simple query. One simple query. It's uh, actually uh, select ten, top 10 rows from uh, table human research department. And I limited the number of rows uh, to be easy, easier for us to count, you know, because we're doing a counter here in this example. Okay. Okay, there are 10 rows. Everything seems fine. Okay. Now, We'll put a uh, row count on our form and just connect it. And uh, since we need a variable for this row count, we'll create one and give the name count. And uh, data type is integer. And now just choose this one and we'll choose destination. And we'll choose as a destination, we'll choose flat file destination. Just connect this. Okay, again. Okay, now we'll create a flat file connection manager and uh, we'll choose our, our, our destination and we'll call this flat file. Flat file, open. Okay, everything seems fine. Okay, preview it's empty. If it should be empty, mapping is okay, everything is okay. Now we go back on control flow form and uh, put uh, on our form a uh, script task. Connect this and open script task. And uh, for read only variables, we choose our variables we make for, for row count. Row count transformation, okay, it's uh, row count uh, user, yes. And now we just edit our script. Okay, just a second. One second, and it's open. Okay. We'll create script now. And uh, we'll create first uh, one integer uh, variable new and uh, now we'll give value to that uh, integer integer and we will get our uh, uh, data from uh, our variable we will connect it with our uh, row count uh, transformation Okay now, uh, now we'll create a message box. Message box and we put in brackets. We'll put our uh, variable Plus with some expression like. Uh, 
I'll just simply rows. It's enough. Seems fine. Just to finish this. Okay. And just confirm. Okay, we have some error here, and I am not sure what integer. Okay. Okay, now just execute the file. As we have 10 rows and it's correct, of course, we could check our new flat file. It's okay, everything is okay. So, in this video, we talk about uh, how we can uh, choose uh, row count transformation and uh, combine with variables here and uh, how you can use uh, script task uh, to create some counter of uh, transferred rows that will be all and thank you for watching